Well, hello and welcome back. We've took Big Blue out, haven't we, babes? Yep. Where have we come to? Stockwith Mill. I got him to say it because I just got a bit tongue tied with it. But yeah, it's lovely. It's Stock new, with isn't it? Mill. <laughs> <laughs> and that's before we've had a drink. <laughs> so we've just got here. You've seen us pulling. We are the only ones here, so it's lovely. We're hoping it's not going to rain because the clouds don't look very inviting. We just had a few little spots, haven't we? And thought, that's it, we've just got comfy. A glorious sunshine. We just had sunshine, so we had to wait to Burned do. Your face off a minute ago, because we were just squinting. Eyes were watering because <clears throat> the sun was that bright. But it would nice just to sit here anyway and have a bit of sunshine. But yeah, we're the only ones here. They've not long been open, have they? No. So it's quite a new site. They've only been open, did they say, two couple, or three months? A couple of months. Yeah, a couple of months they've been open. So it's a fairly new site. £15 a night, so bargain really. Yeah, fair enough, you have to be sort of, what, off-grid really, don't you? Yeah. Be yeah, able to no be off-grid. There's no hook-up or anything there's here. There's water. There is. There is water. Yeah, taps over there. And it looks like they do weddings as well, because they've got, I don't know if you can see, trying to look on phone, yeah, just there, they've got like a, a stand thing, haven't they, that yeah. you could probably stand on and be married so apparently they've got a wedding on Sunday so very nice we're here for a couple of nights so it'd be nice if it just ends up staying us yeah be nice and peaceful it's not far from us it was about half an hour drive was too, it it's not too far from sort of Alford Spilsby on the way to Horn Castle if you like that way to Horn Castle yeah we said we've passed it a few times and didn't really realise it was here. No. So yeah. About 25 minutes from now, isn't it? Yeah, we weren't uh, long at all. Yeah, clean and tidy, it's lovely. So yeah, so we thought we'd check in, show you where we are, different. We've brought Big Blue out, so it'd be nice to use her. It looks like the owner's starting to cut his grass. <laughs> so the piece is shattered. <laughs> yeah, he just... All right, Gobby, you'll be on the video. <laughs> Eat a gay, <laughs> So, yeah, so, yeah, we're going to uh, chill out. Oh. Sorry, I didn't realise you were sitting out. You're all right. <laughs> um, the water's not on, I'm just going to pop it back on. OK. We filled up before we came, so we should be all right. OK, well, I'll tell you what, I'll leave it off. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you want it, it's, it's literally there, it's a blue tap. Yeah, yeah. It's just under that. Under that, yeah, no problem. It just stops me mowing it. Yeah, yeah, no problem. <laughs> yeah, fine. Um, like I said, there'll be people here probably till about, I think it's probably about nine o'clock, half nine. Yeah. Most people are gone by then. Yeah. Friday fine. nights are a bit later, it might be sort of ten o'clock. Fine. Um, yeah. But we usually down to about two cars by ten o'clock, and then there's nobody. No, yeah, no, that's fine. We get no traffic here after about seven, half seven. Brilliant. Yeah. So, yeah. Very that's peaceful. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, might get, you might get a visit from my dog. Oh that's all right. I don't yeah. Mind that. We don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> don't mind that. <laughs> yeah. Lovely chat. Yeah. yeah. So like you say, it allows you to have water. It's entirely up to you. If you don't fill up, it looks like you can come and fill your water up. So yeah, we'll go and have a, a joint tomorrow, won't we? Yeah. A yonder round and see. So as you can see, there is quite a lot of field. Some walks out over there. So hopefully, go have, yeah. Go and have a hike out and have a look. Go and see what we can find. So yeah, we'll leave it at that. We're going to sit and chill for the afternoon till we get some grub on. And we'll catch you in a bit. Touch me baby, take too low. Take too low. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. You can't beat it, can you? Nope. Some brew. Brew. Yeah, let's have a brew. Right, we've got ready for bed. All cosy. We're going to put TV on, have another brew. We've had a party. We've had a chill outside. Yeah. A few beers. <laughs> a few beers and a few coffees. You've had tea. We're now ready for bed. But we're going to put TV on. So, we'll catch you in the morning. Just thought I'd give you an update. Now night, sleep tight. Bye. Good morning. We've woke up. It's about quarter to nine, did you say, folks? Mm, ten to nine now. Ten to nine. I feel like I've slept literally like on and off, on and off. I think I always do when I first night, not in my own bed. We're a bit chilly willy this morning, aren't we, babes? Yep. And it's Satan, it's 13. So I'm going to pass the phone to Simon. Get him to show you, because we might have to put the isolator back on. Does it show 13? Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely chilly willy. So I think... Uh, get the heating on. Get the heating on. The heating on. The heating on. <laughs> So I found the key out, so we're going to see. Fingers crossed it still works. Is it coming on? Yeah. Whoop, whoop, it still works. It's the first time we've had it on since, well, obviously, last year. Yeah. So, yeah, so I think it's brew. Let this warm up. Oh, blowing cool air up. <laughs> Is it blowing cool air? <laughs> it gets going get back into bed folks oh. need coffee and we've got some lovely um what is it sausage patty sausage patty flat bacon. sausage bacon bagels bagels and Feels a brew and a brew we know how to live <laughs> <laughs> so yeah if I get my eyes open, it was all comfy. So I'm saying, What the way you want the way you're jiggling? I'm like, right, Come on, and we're like, that. Geez, it's cold, but you can't see your breath, even though it's 13, so it's not cold, cold. So we were like, No, oh, save the eating, we're not putting it on. <laughs> <laughs> tight, gotta be tight, <laughs> but uh, no, we'll have it on. Let it warm up. Get coffee on. See how it goes. So we'll catch you at breakfast time. There we are, look. Can you see? Oh. You can enjoy. Right, we've ventured out, we're dressed, we're washed, we're fed, we're watered. It's a very miserable day. <laughs> We're going to go for a walk. We're going to try and see you out. We're going to have a look up there, see if we can get through onto the next field and up to the little foresty bit. We were just saying we should have bought like the paranormal stuff. We like watching it on TV and YouTube, or maybe YouTube, don't really watch TV anymore. And uh, I've always liked it, and now Simon's got into it. So I says, right, I'm going to buy some stuff. Should we try and get Bogue UK into doing the paranormal and see if we can get out? But I think we'd end up like pooping ourselves. But it'd be intriguing, won't it? Get obsessed. <laughs> yeah, it'd be our luck someone will follow us home. <laughs> so yeah, so we're going to have a wonder. See if we can get through. And we'll come back to you. Maybe one day we might actually uh, get to use our paranormal stuff. I'm trying to think of different forests and haunted places and whatnot. See if we can scare ourselves. So yeah, we will have a look. Well, all the airfields around here. Look around there. Yeah, all the airfields. Yeah. Yeah. We've read up on it a bit, haven't we? 
definitely the uh, RAF places they say that they see people and hear things and whatnot. So uh, we'll have to give it a go and see how we get on. See if we can scare ourselves. Be funny but not funny. I think we will literally poop ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> It's alright watching it on TV, innit? You think, yeah, we'll do this. As Casper Sight says, we'll just rambo it. But uh, it's one of them things in it where it's like, when you're actually there in real life, I reckon it'd be more scary. So. Mm. <laughs> camp in the woods. <laughs> yeah, camp in the woods. Oh, Jesus Christ. Bigfoot. <laughs> Spin you around, we've got this little bit here, look. Walked up here. It's quite a nice view, even if the day is miserable, really. But yeah. We'll carry on going. There's a bit of a pond thing. Should have bought your carping gear. <laughs> Wonder if there's any any carp in there. But yeah. Hey. It's quite a fresh fresh day. We've got a bird in tree. It's quite amazing how big trees grow, isn't it? Wind's getting up a bit. Big tree there. Not really much. Can't really see you now at that side. So we're yonder up here. Oh, pear. Is that pear? Yeah, pears. Don't look very. <laughs> don't look very appetising. Sometimes you just got to watch out for holes in. Probably end up breaking my ankle. But yeah. Carry on going up here and seeing if we see out. Right, come a bit further. It's not a bad like little view. Lots of trees. Lincolnshire Wolds. Lincolnshire Wolds? Wolds. Check us out coming for a walk in the Lincolnshire Wolds. But yeah, lovely view. So we're going to carry on a bit further and see what we find. A bit further, look. Looks like it's going a bit dark. We were just saying like, oh, I wonder what you'd probably get in here the used stuff it's quite a big let me quite eerie and dark go watch where I'm walking looks like you go that way you go that way It would be a bit in dark, wouldn't it? Simon sort of blends in with his green coat on. Oh, bird. They're quite high up, aren't they? 
Could you imagine if you slept in here and the wind were going through the trees? Keep watching where you walk. Yeah, I think it'd be a bit eerie, wouldn't it? In dark, folks. <laughs> it'd probably be a bit eerie in dark, wouldn't it? Oh. <laughs> Get the machine out. If it spits out any noises. But yeah, in dark. It'd be a bit, wouldn't it? The ledge now going down. Really tall, aren't they? This one's broke. That one's fallen down. That's it. Quite a few. Keep going round. You won't want to probably walk it in the dark actually because I bet you'd end up falling down some ledges. Oh, well, yeah, I suppose. Head torch. Big, big stump. Getting close to the road now, aren't we? That sounds of it. Can hear some cars. It must be near the road. Huh. Look away, that one's just arched over. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> That's dead cool, isn't it, really? I was going to say, it'd be some year old, wouldn't it? Hope we don't get lost. Imagine <laughs> to keep following path, yeah. It's all we can do, see where it leads us. Oh, 
brings you out here. I think it's somebody's house just there, so we keep walking over here. We're open. We can probably go straight down the field, don't we? We think we can just walk round it, we're hoping. So yeah, it's not a bad little view, is it? And even over there. It's quite nice, isn't it? So we went back in. We've carried on with the path. Coming out and it looks like we're assuming back to the beginning. <laughs> so that's good. Because I was thinking, hmm. How far do we walk and then think have we got to walk all the way back? It's only a little pop is. It's not that really big. No. But nice little walk really, weren't it? Yeah. At least the rain stayed off so anyway. Carry on walking down the field, walking that little pop is over there. Probably, yeah. I wonder if you could get like down yeah, there then and instead of putting back into this one walked on the uh, field as a field and could have walked on there yeah you don't want to upset any farm no probably get shot knowing us yeah. so we're on private land but yeah nice little walk wild camp wild camp hammock up in trees yeah. And then what? Shout out if there's any spirits. Yeah. <laughs> oh jeez. I think it'd be really good to do it. And it'd be like, it'd be exciting, it'd be nervous. But yeah. Well, I mean, this just proves you don't have to go go no, too far not even half a mile from home no Some nice walks yeah just go exploring isn't it really yeah. and see what you find like that tree was nice that was like an arch yeah. so it's it's what it's all about isn't it getting out and chilling and seeing bits around you you ain't got to travel far at all so walk the bagels off anyway. So yeah, try not to break well, my legs. These leaves going, didn't we? Oh yeah, you know when we said we put it on this morning? We had trouble. They were trouble. Probably like most YouTubers have probably got diesel heaters. And we're trying to think, probably because we haven't had it on since we've done the second conversion in Big Blue. Mm -hmm. Fitted it in lockdown, first lockdown. Yeah. We've had it on a couple of times since we've installed it. When we've had the old, obviously, layout, I think we only used it a couple of times, really, mm. didn't we? So it's there as an emergency if we get really cold. It's not there just to put on willy-nilly, really. So put it on this morning thinking, like, it was 13, as you've seen. So just take the chill off. But really, by the time we put kettle on, I think it had gone up a couple of degree anyway. Yeah. So it was actually all right. It's not that cold yet. But we thought, ah, since we've done the second conversion in Big Blue, obviously when Simon fitted it, we've only literally had it on just to make sure everything was fine. So we've not actually used it, used it as heating, if you say. So this would have been the first time. And we kept thinking, it's not really doing though, is it? When we got into bed, put the kettle on. Turning it on and it'd, it'd do its test and prime itself up for about five minutes, six minutes and shut off and then go E10. The E10 code that e probably a code. lot of people have probably had the error code. So we took, tried it two or three times, we took the fuse out and put it back in to try and reset it. We just kept doing the same thing. So in the end, I just thought I'd prime the system and that's cured it. So, yeah, so I'm not saying that that's a permanent cure for if you get E10, but it worked for us. So but yeah, so that. it was a quick fix, weren't it, as yeah. such? 
and to prime it it's just your two lower buttons on your control panel uh, downward button and the one on the opposite side of the panel press them both together and it primes it I think it's the on off button isn't it I think at the bottom that's it yeah yeah so it's the on off button and obviously your down button I'll check that hold them obviously and together we'll let you know for sure but that's what we did and uh, it fixed it thank god yeah <laughs> there's so really, like I say we've only used it about four times haven't we yeah since we've had it we've obviously had big blue now what six years probably yeah. going on for seven years maybe yeah. I mean, we didn't put these leaving straight away no uh, like i say put it in lockdown but uh we still got we still have the same tank of diesel <laughs> yeah. thing is it the diesel's a bit naff but no yeah, luckily it's fixed it. we've tried resetting it because apparently taking your fuse in and out or just turning your electrics off just resets it so and apparently you can do that a like, lot up to eight times and if it doesn't do it then maybe it probably wants priming so yeah as to prime it you have to touch your on and off button and your down button together and then it'll do its priming and then it just started up didn't it yeah oh. There she is. oh we're back at camp lot just realized don't know whether you can see her right in the background she's just there look so yeah there's been a nice little walk really don't know if you want to go. Can go down there? Should we go? We decided we might go that way now. So yeah, so fingers crossed diesel eaters working. Because we were like, ah, oh here we go. We have to buy another one or Simon says, well, we'll have to leave it, we'll be fine. It's not cold cold. I'll have a deeper look like when get home and try and suss it out before thinking we'll buy another one. So yeah, so fingers crossed, it's all alright. We had it on and it got up to about 26, didn't it? And we were like ah, Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> so it's definitely a good installa in insulation, get my teeth in, in van. Because it literally took, what, about two minutes and it was like yeah. up to about 26. It and warm air vents underneath where we've got the coats and that, isn't it? So oh, it warmed the coats up lovely. Coats <laughs> yeah. <all the> <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, so fingers crossed. But yeah, any problems, just let us know and we can show you how to prime your diesel heater. And hopefully it'll work for everybody. It worked for us. We've got another little pond thing there. Conkers. <laughs> There's loads, isn't there? The yard. Yeah, that's not bad, that one. Drill some string. Yeah. Take you back to your youth. Graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you used to do it in the graveyard? Oh. Yeah, that'll take you back to your youth then, boats, playing conkers. Soaking them in vinegar and stuff like that, trying to make them hard. <laughs> well, does that make them even harder it's then? supposed to. In vinegar? Oh. It's probably all sorts. Barm, if you know. I can't say I've ever played conkers with really. It was just one of the things I never did, really. So, let's see what's around here then. I've got a nice path, but this must be because it leads up to camp anyway. I wonder if it leads up to the owner's house, because their house is really only next door to it. I'll probably come back into camp, yeah, probably. It's nice. it's nice, isn't it? It's nice to have a little adventure and explore, as they say. That's it. Flicks the tree on me.
It's nice little views everywhere though, isn't there? Sometimes when you get a break in tree, you can see like right into fields. So it's quite nice. So yes, and it looks like you can cut off back to camp, which is obviously the way we can go. And then obviously that way goes to the actual owner's house, doesn't it? Ah, can you go that way as well? So yeah, there's a bit of a mill. Yeah, I think they've made a bar, haven't they? Yeah, because yeah, they said the bar's open, didn't they? Bar and restaurant. So yeah, and a bit of an outside area. So yeah. And if you just fancy like a little walk, and it's nice to have a walk up in the fields and a little bit of a forest. So yeah, as you can see, it's quite nice. They keep it nice and tidy, don't they? Yeah. Oh, and there's a sign like to the mill, look. There's a camp. So they can go there and there's Big Blue. So yeah, it's like a full circle. Yes, she is. And it's nice that we're on our own, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can't say. <laughs> Ever been to a campsite where literally we've got it to ourselves. But yeah, it's a nice little walk. Cup of time now, I think. We're antisocial, right? Yeah, we're not antisocial, really. But we do like our own company. Especially when you've been at work for three days <laughs> dealing with customers. So yeah, it's nice to have the chill. But yeah. We're back home. Here she is. So let's get kettle on. So yeah, just the update on the diesel heater priming. I thought it was the on-off button. So that's the on-off button. So now you need your OK button and your downward button. Obviously you push them two together and hold them and then it'll prime. And then obviously ours just started working. So that's the two buttons. So it worked for us if you get the E10 error code. So hopefully it will work for you. If you press the two buttons and it comes up off. Sorry, you're out of focus. If you press the two, oh, there you are. The two buttons that you've just said. Yeah. And it comes up then off uh, above the little diesel heater. If you press the on button then it'll say on and that, then it'll prime. Sometimes uh. I do it automatically, sometimes you have to say on, then it'll prime after you press the two buttons. Right. So there you have it. Oh, stuck. So yeah, so that is how we primed ours this morning. I don't want to focus too much, but yeah, as we say, the OK button and the down button. And it should prime it and ours worked. So fingers crossed it works for everybody. So there you have it. Well, we was going to go and have another walk, but I don't think we will now. It's absolutely persisting. So we've decided on another drink. And we might put a spender on and get comfy and cosy. Good morning. It never stopped raining, did it, yesterday? No. So it was a nice chilled afternoon. Like I say, we watched a bit of Spender, had a few cuppers, then it was like tea time, it still hadn't stopped raining. So then we made the korma, didn't we? Chicken korma. Chicken had it with a beer, put TV on. I was going to read, but I don't know, I just couldn't be bothered to read, to be truthful. And then more brews. Yeah. Then it was like, let's get the bed made, let's get comfy. And then we ended up just watching crap TV, really, didn't we? Yeah. It were a proper light, rainy afternoon and night. But it were nice to chill. So, uh, 
so yeah bit of a boring one really we didn't get out to see the other side of the forest did we or wood no. or whatever you want to call it so yeah so hopefully you've enjoyed the video it's been nice to come to somewhere where it's we said 15 pound a night but it's not it's nine pound a night so it's good to find somewhere cheap that you can come to not travel too far either with diesel prices and it's nice still to get out and use her so we're going to try and look for more places aren't we that yeah. are quite cheap under 10 pound over if we can it obviously lets all you lot know as well if we find anything we'll show you around wherever we go so yeah if you like something like that then please subscribe it is free it's just so you never miss a video yeah um we did we have seen another site that's what we got huddled up and it's 15 pound ah uh, yeah site. that's why when we said in the intro 15 pound but i did sort of correct it but yeah it's nine pound a night so yeah okay you've got nothing you've got to be totally off grid but that's what you pay for isn't it but everybody that's got a motor home you're totally off grid anyway so you don't really need anything but you can top your water up if need be so yeah so it's been nice hasn't it yeah um nice to chill out for a few days which is what you want isn't it just to change the scenery makes you feel like you've been away even if you're just half an hour down the road so yeah so if you do please like this video please subscribe uh, if you want to see us uh, for the first time using the paranormal stuff please comment down below going yeah 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 you want to see us scared because <laughs> i think it'd be funny but i think it will be a little bit <laughs> we are trying to find some place to go to uh, yeah we're looking into like haunted woods and forests and places and stuff because i've always been intrigued with it so i'd like to we do it over the winter get out in the camper and do that in the winter aren't we? yeah it's something to do isn't it so yeah so comment down below if you want to see us do that um and the sea fishing we're still going to sea fishing yeah we'll still take the camper away and sea fish in different places because we can go a bit further and try obviously further afield maybe or local or whatever but there's only so much beach in there that you can go to but yeah so we'll definitely be doing the sea fishing probably a bit of paranormal camping doing the usual stuff so if you like all that yep don't forget to subscribe um and really it's just a case of packing up and we'll be heading home won't we yeah yeah because i'm at work this afternoon i said i'd help and do a bit of extra because i'm nice like that it's peace and quiet <laughs> why why would i offer to do stuff like that where well, we could have been here maybe for another night but then again we can't anyway can we because they've got like a yeah, but... a wedding venue thing on so obviously we can't anyway so we've got to go home so so yeah so we're going to pack up at home and that'll be it really so we'll see you on the next one so bye for now see ya